Good morning. And here we are on a lovely Friday morning discussing and having a study of A Course of Love by Mari Perrin. I'm Black Crow Walking and we're up to Chapter 6 on Forgiveness at the moment. And forgiveness is all in order to join, joining. Your brother does not exist apart from you, nor you from your brother. This is reality. Your mind is not contained within your body, but is one with God and shared equally with all are like. Chapter 6, verse 2. This is reality. The heart that is the centre of your being is the centre of everything that exists. This is reality. None of these things make you less than what you have perceived. Okay, this is reality. None of these things have made things make you less than what you have perceived yourself to be. But they do make it impossible for you to be separate. You can desire what is impossible until the end of your days, but you cannot make it possible. Why not forgive the world for being other than what you have thought it to be and begin to learn what it is, what it really is? That is, this is what the world is here for. And you have learned what it would teach you. And when you have learned what it would teach you, you will have need of it no more. And you will gently let it go and find heaven in its place. This is all that the words and symbols and forms of your st and structures of your world have come to teach you. Stated as simply and directly as is possible, you are neither separate nor alone and never were and never can be. All your illusions were created in order to obscure this fact of your existence because you would rather it not be so. Only when you quit wishing for what can it be can you begin to see what is. There you go. Your brother does not exist apart from you nor you from your brother. This is reality. We're never alone. We're never alone, ever. We may be in a room on our own, but that does not make us alone. Why is that? It's because the energy that is in you is in everything. It's in the table, the chair, the bed. It's in the house, it's in the country, it's everywhere because it's consciousness living through you, divine consciousness, experiencing life in form through this physical vehicle. It is the same energy that is in you, that is in your brother, that is in your mother, that is in your best friend. It's all the same. It's the same with that. It's the same energy that's acting out over there, <laughs> wherever there is. Beloved, we are never alone. And this is the reality. Your mind is not contained within your body, but is one with God and, f and shared equally with all alike. We're talking about vibrational frequency and energy. We're talking about plasma. We are talking about conscious divine energy experiencing. 
And that cannot ever be contained within one single body. And it can't be contained within you because you're bursting out everywhere with these beautiful lights. And you can't see it. But when you get rid of your density and you come away from living in the world of anger and shame and blame and guilt and all those things. Yes, and that's a world you've created in your mind. And we all do it. When you get come away from that and return to your heart, beloved, the center of reality, when you return to your heart, that is where you will become light. And that lightness of being is so in love with this planet. It's so in love with everything and everyone because it's happy, peaceful and free. The heart that is the center of your being is the center of everything that exists because you are joined with the heart of love, with the heart of God and you are in the heart of love and it is everywhere, this heart of love. It cannot be contained and it is so full of the most amazing light just as you are. If you could see yourself, you would see light. You would feel light. And if you could really see others, you would see the same thing. That everything is vibrating at the frequency of love. And the only reason you can't see it is because you keep heaping all these stories on top of it. It's like you back up this truck with your past and dump it on your light. Just so you can feel bad. And that's called addiction. Addiction to pain. There you are. Stop it. <laughs> Once again, we find a reason to stop doing it, don't we? None of these things make you less than. What you have... None of these things make you less than what you have perceived yourself to be. But they do make it impossible for you to be separate. You can desire what is impossible until the day, end of the days, but you cannot make it possible. Live in the reality of truth, not in the reality of pain. See the difference? What you choose every moment of the day is how you live in heaven or hell, in illusion or reality or the truth. And doesn't make what's happening around you less real. It is real. You created it. You chose it. You chose to be in that spot right now and experience that. And any minute now, you can make a better choice or another choice. Another choice. A choice to be light. A choice to remember who you are. A choice for joining. For loving. A choice for loving. Why not forgive the world for being other than what you have thought it, it to be? And begin to learn what it really is. Have a look. Look at the sky at night. Look at the stars twinkling at you. Look at this, the water and its beautiful twinkles of light. The, the stars are light coming at you. The twinkles are light coming at you. And the water. Be the light that you are and join with the light of everything else, everyone else. This is what the world is here for. And when you have learned what it would teach you, you will have no need for it. No more. And you will gently let it go and find heaven in its place. Imagine that. Letting go of all the news on the television, the newspapers, the Facebook news. Letting go of all the things that keep us heavy and weighed down. 
letting go of hunting and seeking pain. And just being present with the reality of this moment now and what's here. The feeling of the breeze on your face. The warmth in your body. The heartbeat. The joy of being. The joy of experiencing. The joy of seeing. The joy of hearing. The joy of touching. Joining with everything through love. This is all that the words and symbols and forms and structures of you, of your, sorry, of your world, this is all that the words and symbols and forms and structures of your world have come to teach you. Stated as simply and directly as, imp as possible, you are neither separate or alone. And never were and never will be. You cannot be. Because you're part of a human race. You're part of a planet. You're growing on the planet. All your illusions were created in order to obscure the fact of your existence because you would not, because you would rather it not be so. Maybe you were born not wanting to be here. A lot of people are. And they spend their whole life struggling against being present here. Wiping themselves out with drugs. Becoming the hermit. Not really wanting to interact with people. Only when you quit wishing for what cannot be, can you begin to see what is. The beauty of this planet. The beauty of the light being. Experiencing everything as love. You, beloved, are the very essence, the core of the heart of love. You are the heart of God experiencing life in form. How good is that? Let everything go that doesn't serve you today. Let everything go that holds you back from seeing your own beauty. And come more deeply into self-kindness and self-care today. Give to yourself the joining with the heart of love. I love you. Until tomorrow. Bye for now.